Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta and I'm super excited to have you. Can I tell you how much I hate this sweater? Honestly, but I've had it for a year and I've literally never worn it. So I forced myself to wear it at least once. So bear with me here. I found the best affordable Arabic perfumes. I'm telling you, I have been looking for years and I found it and I'm so excited to share these with you. Um, yeah, this is $80 range about is what I was seeing looking online. I don't know, maybe you can find it for better, but I know I found it for that much money. And if that is something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. I have for you um, five, five of these amazing fragrances. I love all five of them. They are hands down the best, especially in this price range. I'm sure you can find others for four times the price. Maybe that can compete with it and beat it, but I'm super impressed with these. These are by the House Orientica. I've heard people say this is owned by Swiss Arabian. It is not. Orientica is its own house, its own owner. They are not even, they are not owned by the same people. They happen to be related to each other, like cousins or something like that, but they are definitely not the same company. I have all five. I wasn't going to do this video. However, I was like, you know what? I love all five. I got to just do a video on these five because they are so good. So let me go through these all for you. Let me start with one of my favorites. I mean, they're all my favorites, but this is probably my the favorite. This one is velvet gold. What is it? Velvet gold. It's in the purple, purple glass with this gold cage. It is heavy. This is definitely a heavy kind of metallic here. Gosh, amazing sprayer. Loving that. Has this creaminess to it. It's this, oh my gosh vanilla caramel like bomb like this is going to be in you're going to be in a cloud of this fragrance it is going to last you a day it is going to project everyone's going to smell you in this the smell so good yet it has this fluffy creaminess to it and that dry down is so sexy sultry i love it it it's this vanilla caramel but it has this like muskiness, powderiness to it too. It says there's animalic notes in here, but I don't get anything animalic in here. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something like oud or something that gave it that power because there's serious powder here without it smelling like there's sharp edges or harshness or anything like that. Like I'm really impressed with the quality on this. It is incredible. Gosh. This one is my favorite. It's their newest one, Velvet Gold, and it's by far my favorite as much as I love all of them. This is so good, Velvet Gold. Oh, there go the dogs because grandma's home and they love, love grandma. I'm trying to get the dogs on camera for you. They used to come on camera all the time, but now with me set up against the wall, they don't like circling me anymore. They sit a few feet in front of me there where I can't get them. If you like these kind of fragrances and these kind of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. You wanna check off all so that it, they actually put the videos in your feed. Otherwise you're subscribed, but they don't give it to you in your feed and that's what you want. Okay, next up I have Amber Rouge, which gorgeous red glass. Let's see if you can catch that red in the lighting. It looks a little better. It's gorgeous ruby red in a rose gold colored cage. Now the Amber Rouge is very much like Baccarat Rouge. If you're wearing this, I don't think anyone is going to be able to tell the difference in the air on this one. I tried because at first I was like, no, nah, they're really similar. It has that telltale sweet note in there. And then I did a side by side with the original, not the extra. And I'm having a hard time. I'm having a really hard time telling them apart. 
it's really, I mean, gosh, I don't think if this is on your skin, anyone is going to think anything different. And yeah, there's that telltale sweet note, but gosh, same powerhouse, same projector, same durability. Like this thing's going to get you 24 hours, except for about a sixth of the price, 80 bucks versus like what, 400 or something, I think. Like that's, that's pretty good. That's a good deal. This is, I, I really thought they were a little different, but I'm having a hard time. I have to be honest. This one's really good. This is the best dupe that I have smelled because the quality is there. We usually, they smell similar, but there's something about the quality, even though it's the same scent. There's just something not as refined smelling about the other versions. What I did a video on like 13 different ones and that you could just side by side really tell the quality difference. So Amber Rouge, I don't need to explain it to you with that cotton candy sweet note, kind of goes a little burnt sugar like, gosh, sweet note with a little bit of airiness, airiness from like outdoor woodsy kind of feel to it. There's a little bit of this like, metallic, medicinal kind of band-aid. Everybody has a different way of describing it, kind of aspect to it, gives it this tinny kind of open air kind of feel to it, along with that very telltale trademark sweet note, which is that ethyl maltol. Uh, there's also that saffron in there, giving it a little bit of this dryness, this dry herb, um, yeah, like a dry herb in there that kind of gives this offset kind of gives these different facets to the fragrance. But I think everyone by now has tried Baccarat Rouge 540. Like, it's just so popular for the last, gosh, like five years, it's been so popular. It's in the malls, most people can get their hands on it, or they've had some kind of version of it that most people know what it smells like. But this is the best that I've smelled. Next up is this gorgeous golden glass and juice. And it is Royal Amber, and it's in gold cage with little red gemstones. Um, do they all have red gemstones? No, they do not. These two have red gemstones. So the Royal Amber, I've heard people refer to it as Herbapura. I don't really think, I'm, I'm going to do a video comparing all those because I hear it so much, like everything is like Herba Pura. If it's fruit, vanilla, musk, I hear it's just like Herba Pura. Oh gosh, you're going all the noises. Any like fruit, vanilla, musk, I hear, oh, it's just like Herba Pura. And I get it. It's in that rendition. It's in that wheelhouse in a grander scale that gives people kind of an idea of where to go with their head. I'm like, okay, like, what type of fragrance are we talking about here? And it gives them that like macro kind of idea. And I'm very appreciative of that. I don't think it is a dupe of Herba Pura. Um, I think it is actually Herba Pura, Herba Gold, which was the Selfridges exclusive. They did just re-release this globally. It is no longer an exclusive. Uh, I've seen the Amber Oud Rouge Gold was a version of this as well. This one has melon and it has stone fruits like orange fleshy fruits like peaches, um, apricots, nectarines, that kind of thing, along with this melon note in that vanilla musk kind of vibe. This one is melon, pineapple, fruity notes, a little bit of green notes. And I think that just gives it that fresher aspect as opposed to Herba Pura, which is a different, different fruits in there. I've always preferred Herba Gold over Herba Pura. Now I like Herba Pura Magica, which I think is the best of all of them. This one is a little bit fresher than Herba Gold, but definitely super similar. I, I think like the Herba Gold is actually a little sweeter, where this is a little fresher but it is in that general kind of idea of Herba Pura. Most people know it. I find this also much smoother than Herba Pura, which has gotten really kind of harsh with the musk in there. There's also a lot of Ambroxan in there, which gives it a little bit of a scratchy kind of vibe that a lot of people don't like, which Herba Pura Magica doesn't have. 
and these don't have, which is why I like them. There's something smoother about them and fresher about the fruits that are in there, which makes me prefer it. But again, I mean, you know, 350, 80, kind of liking it. And it is, again, the most refined version of Arabic perfume that I've seen. Like, I'm really impressed. It is slightly more fresh, especially on the opening of this perfume than Herbal Gold, but it's the same fruits in there. And it dries down the same. And again, incredible longevity on this one. All of them are incredible performers. So you never have to top off during the day. You are gonna be like, you can wear this to a concert and stand out and you don't have to top it off. You can be out and about, not have to carry your perfume and you're gonna be good because it will keep on going for you. Now, my second favorite, I think, is, or it's certainly my favorite for men, let's put it that way, is Royal Blue. This one is a gorgeous sapphire blue and it's in a silver cage with little blue stones on it. Little blue stones on this. I think this one is really pretty. I love this sapphire blue one here. Now this one is reminiscent to Layton. It's, this one is, again, not a dupe, but very reminiscent to Layton. Again, I feel like they improved it a little bit. Parfums de Borley Layton opens up with a little bit of this menthol kind of thing. And then there's a little bit of pepper on it too. Where this version goes straight to the good part, that amazing creamy stuff. Um, the Layton is very heavy in that lavender also. You get that lavender green apple, but that lavender in here comes out very mentholated in the beginning and the pepper is pretty strong too. Whereas the Oud Blue, Royal Blue, gosh, gosh, gosh. <sighs> it's like it goes straight to the good part of Layton. Like you jump past that mentholated lavender, the really sharp pepper, and you go straight to this creamy, sexy, powdery-like goodness. Because of that, I find this way more unisex. This is definitely masculine, but women love it. This is more unisex because it skips over that pepper and the lavender and those cliche masculine kind of notes that we associate with men. Doesn't have that. So I can actually wear this one. This one is so good. This one has those violet, the violets in here, which come off like candied powder, like almost like Smarties. Like if you know those Smarties candies, if you were to crush them up, make them way more refined, that's kind of what violets smell like, like a candied powder smell. Along with this creaminess, like almost whipped cream like, it's crazy. Ah, there's a dash of cardamom. There's the guyac wood and the sandalwood. So you have those woods in there and like even the sandalwood is very creamy. So you have this creamy sandalwood and this creamy kind of florals in there. Creamy vanilla musk, very like sensual, sexy, sweet, like you just wanna snuggle up to it. This is literally like just taking the best parts of Layton and running with it. I think I like this better than Layton gotta tell you I like this better and plus I can wear this too and it doesn't have that masculine edge to it which is phenomenal to me this one is so sexy addictive it's insane like it's insane I love that one to pieces yeah totally yeah it doesn't have that black pepper thing in there like Leighton does I mean it supposedly does but it certainly I don't pull it out the way I do in Layton. With Layton, I really get this lavender pepper thing going on. And then it later, hours later, dries down to this creamy kind of thing. That's really addictive. Whereas the Oud Blue is like straight away into that creamy addictive state that you get with Layton. Man, that's good. And the last one is Oud Saffron. This is, this is your like oriental vanilla, ambery vanilla, oud vanilla, but this is a really good oud vanilla. The way this oud vanilla is, is a little more like intense cafe 
versus Oud Satin Mood, which I personally cannot stand. That one makes me nauseous and turns my stomach. So no, it is not like Oud Satin Mood, unless that works for you. I don't know, but it's more like the versions of like Intense Cafe. There's no rose in here. However, that Oud Vanilla is like Intense Cafe, Roses Vanille, Zerjoff K Bridge, all of those kind of fragrances, the way they do that Oud Vanilla has some saffron in there for dryness and it gives it that oriental kind of vibe for this like gorgeous, very voluminous, very intense, very sexy, creamy, so good. But that saffron gives it that oriental kind of flair to it. Definitely gives it a more nighttime or cooler weather kind of vibe to it. This is, again, roll your eyes back and I'm shocked, 80 bucks. Wait, I didn't even tell you the presentation because I was so excited. Uh, this is, I can't tell if this is, this is like a navy blue, whereas this one is like a sapphire blue. You can see like when the light hits it. This one is more navy almost black and then you have the blue gemstones and silver cage on this one but man I like this one a lot too oud saffron if you're afraid of oud you don't have to worry there's nothing skanky animalic challenging about this at all if you don't know ouds or haven't tried ouds this is a great first oud because it's very gentle. It's more sweet oriental kind of vibe. And you probably wouldn't even know there's oud in here if you're not into ouds. If you know your ouds and you recognize your ouds, you know it was a very soft, easy, very easy oud. This is a great way to try oud. It gives it a slightly, very slightly kind of smoky hint to the woods in here. And again, with that saffron, is kind of what gives it that oriental vibe, that slightly, slightly charred, smoky kind of feel, which again, I don't like smoky. So don't think this is by the fireplace because I really can't stand that fragrance either and I don't like smoky, but there's a hint of smokiness to the type of wood that's in here. But it's very creamy, sweet, and just, oh my gosh, addictive. Again, like that dry down to late and I'm going to say these three, the Royal Blue, Velvet Gold, and Oud Saffron all have that creamy, addictive, sultry, but voluminous, fluffy vanilla note in there. They all have it. Like if you were to take that vanilla that's in Montal Intense Cafe, if you were to take that type of vanilla, that marshmallowy like vanilla, definitely like fluffy marshmallow. They all kind of have that in there, which is why these are my three favorites because I really like that. The These two are more crisp, more of your fruity fragrances, your fruity um, sweet, your sweet, your Baccarat Rouge and your Fruits Vanilla Musk fragrance. Whereas these are your thicker marshmallow, sweet vanilla kind of fragrances, but man, these are so good and they're only $80. I can't believe I slept on these when they were launched last year. However, the Vanilla Gold is from 2023. This one is new. And again, I think that's probably the best one, but you can't go wrong with these. And especially at $80, I'm like really impressed with the pricing on these. Um, I'll try to link them, but I don't really have anywhere in particular and I certainly don't have any discount codes on them. I will try to look for a place but I'm, I'm like at the same mercy as you to look for where to buy them. I think you can buy them direct in Dubai, but that's never going to be the best pricing option. I think even Amazon has these, to be honest, if you even go to Amazon, but I'll try to link something for you. Um, but yeah, I'm loving those fragrances. So um, tell me if you've tried these or not, and let me know down below which ones you've tried. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.